Uh, we're at Pocket Gamer Connects London 2018, and we're here with Sebastian from Pixel. Thank you for coming in for a chat today. Sure, thank you for taking me here. Tell us a little bit about your career and how you came to be you know, co-found Pixel. Uh, over the years, since 2011, I believe we've been really growing and maturing into a company that, um, from indie studio, has been uh, learning um, all the best practices into community management. Uh, growth hacking, uh, doing live ops and events, uh, and now also uh, moving into the space of um, paid user acquisition and scaling to right. become hopefully a top grossing studio in the next uh, years or so. So you've had success, like you mentioned, with um, with Doodle Grub and Sandbox, and most recently you've been moving into you know big IPs like Garfield and Snoopy. So how is that different working on your own IPs versus you know licensed um, IPs, and and you know how is that working with those brands? 2014, we got approached by uh, uh, Garfield. They wanted to make uh, a builder game using you know, the Garfield brand. That's yeah. how it got us started uh, to make this uh, gender. And from there, uh, having Garfield, uh, we uh, we saw the potential to make more games with uh, stronger IPs. We started to work with uh, Peanut Soupy. Yeah. 2015. This game is still very active. It's um, and it's been two years, two years and a half now that we launch uh, events and live ops on a regular basis in the game, and that it keeps engaging uh, players. And we found that uh, IP brings more than just a name and uh, maybe the marketing around it. It also brings the content, uh, a lot of like existing characters, uh, narrative, context, settings that the players are familiar with. And it really helps in terms of city builder to uh, leverage that content both for creating engaging experience and stories with these characters in our game and as well uh, for all this strategy of live ops and events for planning on a long term game. Right. So what role does ad based monetization play in all of your titles? Um, yeah. So it's very interesting the, how um, there's been a shift over the past two years in uh, how players engage and consume video ads. Uh, the part that video ads uh, take in the revenue move from anywhere to 15, 20% to above 50%. Mm. I think it, it's a phenomenon that we can see get, is really stronger with younger audiences. So I'd say teenagers, uh, and up to 24 years old, they are uh, they accept and they like to engage with watching video ads in exchange of uh, unlocking uh, free content in the game. How important is it for you to attend events like this in London yeah. or in Helsinki, you know, and so on and so forth? I think it's uh, it's been essential over the course uh, of the studio to be attending those conferences because they have. Uh, they, they give us first this uh, international presence, they help us to meet uh, with industry parts, mm -hmm. uh, learn from people who are uh, more successful than us, mm -hmm. discover the latest trends. So really keep informed about our industry first, uh, leverage a lot of uh, knowledge and also build relationship. Great. Well, Sebastian, thank you for coming in and sharing your thoughts with us today. Thank you. Great.